Hi, this is Ashio, and welcome back to Judgment. We are on our way back to visit Kaito. However, if I see anything on the way, of course I'm going to stop and say hello to whoever wants to have a chat. I mean, I don't know. Just keep going for now. But we just chased a wig through downtown, which was very bizarre. But actually, we're in the middle of quite a serious investigation. We are really pissing off the the local family, the local Yakuza. <laughs> But, yeah, we're going to find out what we can do about the situation. Let's talk to Kaito. Dude. You're in my chair. Get out of my chair. Yo, how'd it go? Fine. I ended up going in that arcade. Talked to Higashi. He caught you, huh? Nah, I just wanted to have a chat. Anything come of it? First off, Matsugane-san's completely lost control of Hamura. Apparently, Higashi has no choice now but to follow his captain's orders. Fucked up. When we talked, though, it felt like I was talking to the same old Higashi. Didn't look same old to me. If Higashi's really changed, I bet it all started after the break-in that got Kaito-san kicked out. I wonder what came of all that. Okay, about the money. You know a year ago, when you got expelled from the family? Uh-huh. It was because someone stole a hundred mil from the safe, right? Yeah, what about it? What ended up happening with that? Did you ever hear anything? Apparently, Higashi got it all back. At least, according to Ayabe. Higashi did? But how? Not a clue. I would have had to fork up another 200 grand for more info. I didn't have the cash, so I dropped it. Haven't brought it up since. Sounds like Ayabe has a lot to tell us. It'll cost you. Bet you can find him a tender around now. Okay, so what about Higashi? Kaito-san, how long's it been since you saw Higashi? Today was the first time since getting the boot. Hamura would have been all over him if we kept in touch. I didn't want to weigh him down, you know? Gotcha. Okay, tell me about Hamura. I wonder what Hamura will do next. He'll be back here soon enough. It's just a matter of time. Wouldn't even be surprised if he tried to off us. <laughs> you think we pissed him off that much? Well, he doesn't want us catching the mole, that's for sure. Other than that, I think he just hates our guts. Damn. Even though we're the reason he's a free man? Guess we just can't catch a break. So Hamada really doesn't like us. Okay. So... What can we do? We're not going to play pinball. What is up here? Anything? Any new jobs? No, we need to find this jacket. Hmm. And I'm stuck on that quest. You heading to tender? Whatever info Ayabe's got is going to cost you, you know. I well, hope I have enough then. I'll figure something out if not. So maybe I need to save up some money. Hmm. Maybe I should try and do that side quest and try and raise a little bit of cash in case I need to spend it. I'm not sure. I'm just going to head out and see what takes my fancy. Okay, let's check out the Marche. Looks like there's a friend quest going on here. Hello, sir. Well, welcome back. Always a pleasure to have you, sir. Oh, you actually remembered me. But of course, I remember all the names and faces of my valued customers. Call it a policy of mine. Hey, that's classy. I like it. Thank you. Please let me know if there's anything I can help you with. My name is Nataro Terahara. Okay. So, the last time we shopped with this guy, we bought panties, so please don't judge me. Let me ask you, Yagami-sama. Would you be interested in a custom-tailored suit? Hmm? Uh, well now, that'd be nice. Hmm. But I don't really dress formally anymore. <laughs> is that so? I personally think you look quite handsome in a properly fitted suit. <laughs> wow, you sure you're not just battering me up? Oh, no, sir. My compliments are 100% butter-free. I pride myself in making every suit unique to match the customer's needs. So, if you ever feel the need to spiff up your overall appearance, I'd be more than happy to assist you. Well then, whenever I need a suit, I'll come looking for you. Excellent. I'll be awaiting your visit. Okay, this guy can do us a suit. How much would that even cost? They're not on there. It's just jewellery. 
Okay, so maybe one time we can come back and get ourselves a suit. Okay, I'm gonna head up to the northwestern area. Oh, some guys wanna fight. But yeah, I think I wanna visit like the um in the sewers, there's a guy and we can buy some health items from him. So I think that's what I wanna do next. And obviously explore while we do that. Okay, good. It's been a while since I just fought some random guys. But yeah, I think I've just broke that guy's back. Keep running away. So what's this place? Some of these shops I haven't even visited the first time. Oh wow, that Cheshire ramen place practically melted in my mouth. For real. I don't know what they put in there, but it totally blew my mind. I know, right? Better post this up before someone beats me to it. Yeah, that pit's going to blow up for sure. Wow, are these the same kids from before? Okay, they just made a complete 180, and by the way, it's honey that the chef put in there. However, judging from their reaction, it means that he's got a new recipe. We visited this guy basically just now. If it isn't good old Yagami-san. Hey, so I see you've added something new to the menu. Yeah, I call it the Crushing Chashu Challenge. It's supersized ramen with no leftovers allowed. Wow, nice. Thanks to that, we have a lot of youngsters stopping by. Though they do keep taking photos instead of eating right away. But I suppose it's good for business, you know. That's really good to hear. And I owe it all to you, Yagami-san. Thanks a bunch. Hey now, don't forget your ramen has always tasted great. You should be getting a lot more customers now. Yeah, you always seem to have something nice to say. I hope my new ramen will have you singing its praises as well. Yep, yep only one way to find out. Cool, I'm glad he's back to his old self. Now that everyone appreciates his cuisine, I can't wait to try it myself. Cool, we are friends. Yeah, my reputation's gone up. And isn't it when my reputation goes up, that gives me access to more missions. So this is all good. I just need to steadily build myself up. We're currently on chapter 3 of the game. And I think there are 12 chapters, so... Oh shit, I didn't mean to bump into you guys, but I kind of did. Oh shit, this is the Matsugane family themselves. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, fuck. Oh, that is rough. That is rough as shit. <laughs> okay, these guys are down. Bam. <laughs> okay. This is fine. I wasn't expecting to fight the Matsugane family in the street like that. But we are hunted by all kinds of people right now. Yeah, so I think overall we're approaching a quarter of the way through the game. But only in terms of the story, not in terms of the content. I'm slightly worried. Oh my god, there's loads of these guys. Jump! I'm slightly worried about how long the gameplay is going to take. But at the same time, if I'm having fun, who cares? You know? <laughs> okay, beat these guys. I take his money. This guy has got swag. <laughs> the way he's walking up like that. Okay, good. Knock him out. Gotcha. I like how he bounced. Okay, he's unconscious for sure. Have a have a nice little nap. Grab that. I can see there's a handshake just here. Who? Oh, this guy. I've spoken to this guy before. Yagami-san, good to see you again. Good to see you too, Prison Ichinose. Are you here to supervise again? That's right. After all, my management philosophy has always been let customers be the judge, wasn't it? <laughs> Bingo. You got it word for word. Nice. So, let me ask you something. When you think of a successful manager, what qualities come to mind? Hmm, mm, a successful manager, right? Let's have a think. Rakes in the profit, innovative, someone with authority, someone with a lot of subordinates. Um, someone who's innovative, we'll go with that one. I'd have to say a manager who can create something both innovative and useful. Not everyone has that kind of mind. I see. Was I wrong? Well, when I think of what a successful manager should be, I think of someone who puts the customer first. Huh? That wasn't one of my options. What do you mean? For example, we've created a restaurant that doesn't make the customer choose between quality or affordability. Instead, we give the customer both, and that way the customers win both ways. Yeah, you're right. It is a good deal. And if our customers feel like they're being put first, then they'll keep coming back. What that means is if our customers win, then as far as I'm concerned, so do we. 
That's been my philosophy since our restaurant first began. And that's a great philosophy to have. No wonder they made you president. <laughs> yeah, what can I say? Okay, it's kind of sentimental, but why not? Dude, you're here again. It's almost time for your meeting, remember? We need to get back to the office right away. Okay, Matamurukun, is it that time already? I'm sorry to make you rush. I'll be leaving now, Yagami-san, so I hope to see you again soon. Yeah, same. Okay. No successful manager is one who puts the customers first. That way, both parties win. It sounds like a great president. It's so random. Alright. I'm way off track on where I'm supposed to be. I thought I was supposed to be saving up for money or something. But I'm very, very lost right now. Okay, let's check this place out. Hey, how's it going? Yagami -san. Oh, Yagami-san. Hey, how's that entree coming along? Well, you see... Okay, what happened? You know that new dish I've been working on? Well, I've lost the recipe. Huh? What, really? Did you at least save a picture on your smartphone? Nope. The rule is our recipes are always handwritten, so no one could copy the menu. And I'm assuming that no one else in the restaurant memorised it. If they did, I wouldn't be here retracing my steps, only to realise I'm a complete idiot. Stupid. I'm sorry for the outburst. But seriously, I'm stumped. Of course it had to happen during a one-man shift. You mean, it's only you on the floor right now? Yeah, that's why I can't go and look for it. Oh, what should I do? It's supposed to be a top secret recipe. Damn, I hope nobody else finds it. Uh, Yagami-san? Hmm? What? Could you maybe do me a favour and find it for me? Huh? Uh, but... Please! I can't leave the store unattended, you see. I'll repay you somehow, I promise. Okay. Yeah, you're the best, dude. So, where do I go? Okay, the route I took began on Tenkaichi Street. I walked all the way to the end and took a right. And after that, then I stopped for a bit at M-Side Cafe, bought coffee, chatted a bit. Then I went down to Theatre Avenue. Once I passed the batting centre, I was pretty much a stone throw away from here. I'm sure it's somewhere on that route. Got it. I'll let you know once I find it. Can you give me your contact? Okay, I'll text you my commuting route as well. What? I'm never going to be able to find that. If I find it randomly, then fine. Otherwise, sorry dude, you're fucked. You ain't going to find that at all. What I really wanted to do was head to the sewers. Oh, I got a text. Yeah, we send the route, I, the route I took today was... I started by walking down Tenkaichi Street, made a right... I'm not... I'm not gonna be able to do it. I'm sorry. If I find it randomly, then good. But otherwise, definitely not. Who wants to fight, though? Ah! Oh, shit! You got hit by a car! <laughs> oh, no. Dude. Oh! Oh! Oh, dude. <laughs> you are fucked. You are fucked. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> hey, that just happened. Okay, bye. You'll never see that guy again. <laughs> that guy is dead. <laughs> oh. Unlucky. Sucks to be you. Okay. Take that. And that. That was very unique. I've not seen all of these weird little special moves, but that was... Really, really good. That was really funny. Oh, excellent. <laughs> okay, so here is the park. So I can check out the sewers, can't I? And maybe I can buy a couple of health pickups, because they're the ones, if I get a permanent damage, they are the ones that can help me cure that. I haven't really been underground that much, apart from the one time. So, yo. Here you go. Thanks for the other day. No sweat. Good to see ya. Excuse me. So, you used to be part of the medical university. What's that like? Mm, that was a long time ago. Thinking back on it now, I can't believe I got swept up in all that bullshit. All I ever thought about was how to get tenured, even at the cost of the people around me. I couldn't trust anyone. After I left the hospital and ended up on the streets, these folks were the only ones who showed me any kind of dignity. They've been taking care of me ever since. Wow, I had no idea. 
Moroboshi Sensei, we need a doctor. Okay, so what's wrong, Hamanaka-san? It's Kondo-san. He's got into an accident. What? We're bringing him here right now. So can you take a look? I'm on it. I just want to do some shopping. Okay, this guy is fucked. Okay, I've done everything I can, but we don't have enough blood for a proper transfusion. Yakumiya-san, Hamanaka-san, I've got a favour to ask. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is it? We need people who can do donate type O blood. Several. Okay, I'll ask around the homeless community. Yagami-san? Yeah. I'm going to ask around the Champion District. Can you go to the Public Park 3? Okay. Where is that? I'm counting on you. Okay, I just... I just wanted oh, to do not. other stuff. Okay, medical kit. That is what I wanted. They are expensive. But I will take it. Okay, so this guy is also wounded as fuck. So we need to help him if we can. And I have never been down here. So... I don't... Okay, can we go up here? What's what's in here? Okay, let's, let's leave. I don't know where this will take us to. Excuse me, don't mind me. Just gonna let myself in. Okay, cool. Uh... Alright, so... We need to get that guy some blood transfusions at some point. And I'm not really sure where they've asked me to go. I've got a whole little list of things to do. And I don't know what to do about half of these missions. So I'm just going to keep rolling and see what we come across. Of course, all I'm coming across is people who just want to fight me. Alright, grab it. This has turned into not a regular episode. This is turning into one of these ones where I just explore town and see what's going on. So sorry if you're hoping for more story, but it's not going down like that. I keep getting attacked by all these people though. Let's go in here. Yo, I just beat up some guys outside and I could do with some food please. Yo, give me, wow, a wet burger. That is what I want. Yes. This will be tasty. Cool, thank you. Thank you very much. No problem. Okay, let's let's head out. Oh, there's a guy outside. Who's this? Pardon the interruption, but may I have a moment of your time? Sure. Great. My name is Yasuhiro Furuya, and I'm an event planner for Wet Kitchen, a local burger shop. I'd like to get more acquainted with our customer base and see how they perceive our restaurant. Okay, I can help. So he wants to interview me about the restaurant. Should I go through with it? Sure, let's go. I could chat, sure. Thank you. So, what did you want to ask me about? Well, you see, our corporate office is asking us to come up with a new collaboration campaign for each of our stores. But to put it plainly, I'm terrible at thinking up new ideas. That's why I decided to take a chance and leave it up to our customers. That's bold, but kind of lazy. If your suggestion does get used, I'll be sure to give you some form of compensation. But I've rambled on enough, haven't I? Please, let us know what kind of store you'd like to see us cooperate with. Okay, getting the chance to influence a local fast food chain is a pretty big deal. But what would mesh well with burgers? Fast food, cafe, cabaret. <laughs> it would definitely turn a lot of heads, if that's what you're going for. A cabaret club? Well, it would turn heads, but in the wrong direction. That's far too adult-oriented for us. Now that you mention it, children do come here pretty often. My mistake, I'll think of something else. Okay, fast food. That's a possibility, though wouldn't that essentially be pushing for more of the same? Well, don't you think it'd be awesome if two rival restaurants ended up working together? But is such a thing even possible? It's practically unheard of in the industry. That being said, Perhaps it's all the more worth it to try. Right? In that case, I'll propose this campaign to corporate right away. I'd like to give you a little something in case your idea is used. May I have your name? Uh, Takeyuki Yagami, let me know what happens, right? You betcha. And if I hear good news, I'll contact you right away. I mean, that's probably bad advice, but that is what we've done. It really would be cool to see two fast food giants uh, teaming up. I hope it turns out okay. Hmm. I'm not confident. Okay, 
in here. There's no one in here. So there's a, a dude here. Shall we talk? Hello? Oh, this guy. We did help him out. Oh no, we're friends now. Proper friends. We don't need to go there anymore. Are we friends of all these places? I think we are. Yeah, what's going on? What do you need? I just had a little fight, so let's give me a beef bowl. Maybe we can eat everything at this place. Okay. Good. My health is back. Let's go. There's a shop here. What's... Where's the door, actually? How do I get in? Excuse me. How do you get in? There it is. There's a gap. So who are these people? Let's talk. Hey. Yo, Yosuke-kun. Got a sec. Oh, you finally ready to get busy with the best tea in the city? Uh, no, I'm working. I'm hoping you can help me find some punks, though. Oh, sucks to be you. What kind of punks? Local douchebag seed, apparently. They hang out at the children's park a lot. One of them has short blonde hair, moustache, cargo sunglasses. Does that f sound familiar? Oh yeah, I know that guy. Really? Any idea why he might have gone? Mm, what did he say again? Oh right, he was shouting about how he wanted to blow off some steam at the batting centre. That's in the hotel district, right? Yeah, thanks. I'll check it out. That's cool. That is a side mission that we need to do. So the batting centre is... It's around here, isn't it? But yeah, I want to find this guy, because this is the guy who's apparently stolen the jacket that I'm trying to reclaim. So that would be super cool if I could get that jacket. I'm trying to do it without using the map. I definitely need to learn where things are without relying too much on the map. There's a burger place here. I don't think I've ever been here before. Hello. Smile burger. Yeah, give me your, give me your standard. Thank you. I'm eating so much. Every time I have a fight, I can have something to eat. Cool. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, over there. I don't mean to startle you, but could you show me your smile? Hmm? Why? Well, we've decided to host an event that fosters friendship between Smileburger and the local community. Allow me to explain. First, each of our guests can take a smile snapshot with one of our staff members. Then we'll post the snapshot up on the official site. <laughs> And finally, our other customers can go online and vote on who has the best grin. Simple. Huh? Wait, you're going to be uploading the pictures online? Hi. Yeah. And to compensate for the blatant breach of privacy, the winner gets first dibs on trying our secret menu. You'll still have to pay for the food though. <laughs> so after forcing us to smile and uploading our pictures online, you still want to take our money. Um, sir, could you maybe turn that frown upside down? <laughs> Why not give us a smile? Man, all I wanted was a burger. How do I get out of this shit? Come on, don't be like that. How about taking a picture with yours truly? The name's Hanae Ida, by the way. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Fine, I'm a sucker for a secret menu. Great, then let's get started. We're going to take this one right out front. Show us your best smile, Yagami. Okay, and let's see that handsome smile. I know, maybe try laughing. How to take a selfie. Troubled, angry, pleasant. Okay. I mean, I've got bruises all over my face. Is that, there we go. I've been beaten up though. I <laughs> really messed up my face. It wasn't terrible, but... It counts, right? It counts. I did what you asked me to do. I'm afraid your smile still needs a little bit of work, sir. Are you not a naturally happy person? That's... That's actually really rude. <laughs> hey, you asked me for my best smile. And then you come for my life like that? No frowning, please. Just keep that grin on your chin and look forward to the results. Okay, I guess. That was kind of weird. But batting centre... I'm very distracted right now. Is it over here? Yes, this is it. These guys want to fight, but I just want to go batting. Can I go inside, please? Don't follow me inside. Cool. Oh, these guys. Shit. No. I found the. I found them finally. This is about two or three episodes ago. I wanted to find these guys, and now I have the chance. And now these guys want to ruin my chance. Do not. I like how they're just watching me. They're totally not fast. 
worth it. Stay out there. Go away. Really, guys? But yeah, this is it. Dude, give me back the jacket. Those guys. I'm pretty sure these are the punks I'm trying to find. Excuse me. Sorry, you guys got a second? Uh. Say what now? I'm looking for a bag that went missing in the children's park bathroom. It had a wallet and a jacket in it. Oh yeah. So, you guys, do you know anything about it? Nah, man. Yeah, you're barking up the wrong tree. Okay then, if you see anything, please let me know then. Sure, no problem. Yellow bag with a jacket in it. I didn't say it was yellow. <laughs> Can I believe that? Excuse me. Uh, one more thing. You're gonna quit bugging this asshole. It's just something you said is bothering me. Oh yeah. You said a yellow bag with a jacket in it to confirm what I asked, right? What the fuck does it matter? It's just odd. You know something you shouldn't. Like I said, does it matter? Yeah, it does actually. What's bothering me is um, uh, the jacket. Did I ever say the jacket was in the bag? Uh, yes. Oh. Yeah, totally you did. Oh, maybe I did say that then. Don't come at me with the senile shit, bro. Wow, well, I'm losing it. Think again. About the bag being yellow. Mm. Oh. Well, what does it fucking matter? My bag's yellow too. I think it's time you got lost. Suspicious. Is there anything else I can use as ammo against these guys? Maybe one of them is wearing something they stole. Hmm. Isn't it a watch? A yellow watch? What the yeah, I see. That yellow wrist watch, it's gotta be my client's. I don't think anything else stands out. Yeah, I think that's everything. Is there anything else to look at? Don't think so. Hey, you. That watch, is it yours? Of course it is. Why are you still here? I bet I can trick this fool into confessing that he stole it. Uh, the owner's initials are carved on the dial. Wow. Yeah. You know what? I'm pretty sure the owner's initials are carved on the dial. You care to take a look? Mm. What? He's totally going to check it. <laughs> it doesn't have shit written on it, man. <laughs> but if it was yours, why did you check? Time to admit that you stole it. Wow, now you're just fucking with us. I'm about ready to kick your sorry butt out of here. Well, when words fail, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. You'll be sorry, arsehole. Must I'm gonna be. fuck these guys up. I don't I don't even give a shit. That's it. Just just eat this. <laughs> Instant kill. I don't even care. These two guys. Whatever. And this guy, yeah, weak, weak. <laughs> I need that jacket back. Ow, what the fuck were those moves? Unless you want to get hurt a little bit more. I suggest you start talking. You stole the bag, right? What? Fine. I'll give you back the shit, man. This is just the wallet and the watch. Where's the bag? And more importantly, the jacket that was inside. I didn't want to carry it around, so I threw it. You threw it away? Really? Yeah, man. That thing was ugly as fuck. Tigers and shit. Lame. Okay, so where did you toss it? I dropped the bag near a trash can in the Champion District. The jacket should be inside. Okay, I've got no idea where to go. But we found our guys, so we're a little bit closer. Hmm. Okay. I've got no idea where that could be. I need to chill out. Maybe we should have a cigarette. We've yet to do this. Right, let's use the smoke. Maybe something will come of it. Or maybe it's just something you can do. Alright. Just gonna chill out. Just for a sec. I made lunch for you today, you can. Did you bring the flat coder too? Of course I did. Alright. Now I can conquer all the courses for real. Okay. That's enough. Put that shit out. 
Actually, while we're here, better get going. Yeah, maybe I should try some baseball. I've not done this stuff. Let's give it a go. 300 yen. Let's go... Oh no, home run course. i got no idea how this is going to work. Uh, view the rules, swing. Is that it? Wow. Okay, King of Camera Cho. I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, this guy's got a swing on him. I wonder if I'm go. going to be any good. How fast my swing as well? All right. Oh shit. Ooh. Yeah. Oh shit, straight up! <laughs> okay. No, I timed it poor. I timed it poor. Okay, stay up here. Ooh, that was fast. That was okay. Alright, down here, down here. Nice. Cool. Very nice with the home runs. Over, way over here. No. I can't get those ones. The curveballs fuck me up. Okay. Nope. Come on, come on. Ooh. It was a hit. It counts. Up here. Wow. The angle on that thing. <laughs> okay, stay here. Yes. I can do the fastballs. I can't do anything else. No, that was too slow. Too slow. Okay, I'm done. Uh, a C. Well, at least now we've said we've done baseball. <laughs> oh, who's that over there? There's some people hanging around. Hello? Excuse me, is there anyone here blood type O? I've got an injured guy underground. What? What's all this all of a sudden? This guy named Kondo-san got into an accident and needs a blood transfusion. What did you say? con chancer? Are you serious? Yeah, please. Is there anyone? Blood type O. Uh, yeah, I am. Great. Can you come with me right away? Sure. Anything for Conchan. Then let's get going. Okay, we found someone to donate blood. I wasn't looking for it, but we randomly found a guy, so that actually means a lot. That's cool. I want to get these missions done. Okay, that should do it. That was a close one. Moroboshi Sensei, thank you so much. Man, I'm so happy right now. Thanks again, Yagami san. Sorry to put you out like that. That's cool. Reputation's got up again, no trouble. Well, I need to thank you somehow. If you find yourself injured, I'll treat you anytime. Stop by whenever medicine alone won't do the trick. You're welcome here anytime. I do have to charge you though. Okay, sounds like just what the doctor ordered. Indeed. Well then. I'll see you around. That was cool. Okay, so... I think maybe one or two little side missions. I want to go for a little bit more. Let's go. So there's a, a sexy club here. Shall we try this place? Can we go in here? Or should we take the stairs? Let's take the stairs. I don't want to miss anything, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. No. Keep going up. So where is this place? Oh, everything is very discreet. Very discreet. Hmm. I don't know how a place like this works, actually. So maybe... Is there somewhere at the front entrance I need to go to? Or was that an entrance there? Okay, let's go in here. Yo. How's it going? Excuse me. Hi there. Welcome to Apple Pie. Would you like to request a hostess? Oh yeah, that would be... Who's this? Hey there, handsome. If you're looking for someone special, why don't you tag along with me? Okay, who this? How about me? I'll give all my guys the very best service. Actually, does a girl named Madoka work here? Yeah, we had a guy recommend us someone to we should meet with. What? You want to request Madoka-chan? Her? Of all people? Hmm? Is there some kind of problem with that? I mean, not really, but she can be a little bit, well, you'll see. So, she's available? Yeah, absolutely. I'll reserve your table right away. But please keep in mind, we don't offer return policy. <laughs> oh shit, I'm sure she'll be fine. Oh, and put it on Yosuke's tab. Oh, I see, you're with Yosuke-san. 
Okay, I understand. Try not to get too dejected, hun. At least you won't be drinking alone. Hmm? What's this all about? This is gonna be weird, isn't it? Okay. Oh, hello. Um, I'm Madoka. Yo, I'm Yagami. Um, I guess I'll sit here, right? Is she, like, not very happy doing it? I don't know. But maybe we can be friends. Okay. Man, she's quiet. I guess I'm the one who has to break the ice. So, madoka chan you seem pretty young to be working here. Oh, I mean, sort of. Hey, I know. Hmm? What? <laughs> Why don't you buy us some drinks? Then I might actually tell you how old I am, maybe. That was a pretty blunt upsell, not to mention she's not much for conversation. So, uh, did you want to order something? Well, Yosuke-san did say I could order some drinks on the house. Looks like I'm gonna need it. Yeah, I'll be taking one of these. The 20,000 yen one. Wow, are you sure? That's expensive, you know. Four zeros. Yeah, I'm sure. Bring me the good stuff. Wow, thank you so much. Okay. Interesting. Oh, my alcohol level. Well, that drink could make a buffalo stumble, but I can still keep going. Hmm. Oh man, this is going nowhere. Why is she still clammed up? Excuse me. I'll take another round of that 20 ground, please. Oh, okay. Coming up. No, I'm going to pass out. I'm going to pass out. <sighs> Shit. I'm tapping out for today. Uh, You don't look very good, man. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I did overdo it. Damn. I guess my tolerance is slipping. Too, too drunk. So, oh, I'm, I'm like drunk. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit wobbly. But I'm sure there's something I can do. Isn't there like liquid courage? Let the alcohol, okay. Let the alcohol flowing through your veins fuel your rage. Okay, so when I'm drunk, I can do shit. <laughs> okay, boot hound builds up your alcohol tolerance even further. Okay, let's take that. Yes, it's a good skill. Builds up your alcohol tolerance to a dangerously high level. It enables you to drink like a monster. <laughs> yeah, let's take it. And that's it. Good. So, maybe? Maybe I'm good to go a little bit more? Sir, let's try this again. Hopefully my tolerance is enough that I can keep drinking. I don't advise this level of drinking. But it's a video game. It's no problem. Let's keep going. So I'm up to nine now. Oh, I'm still fucked up. No, I can't do it. I think I need to start over. Okay, so we found the bar. At least there is that. Oh, I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. Oh, fuck. I'm... <laughs> oh, I cannot... I cannot go in a straight line. Look, I'm only holding up. But <laughs> I'm all over the place. Okay. This is, oh shit. Can I can I run? Oh fuck. I'm only holding up and he is all over the place. I think I need to sleep this off or some shit. Okay, I can't. I can't play in this condition. I need to sleep it off or do something to fix this. So I think that that is it for this gameplay. This is Usho signing off and hopefully I'll see you next time.